play a few tunes before the start there but I think is all you may have heard was sugar cubes and uh, McDermott's at the end there but anyway um, <laughs> begin as you mean to go on I tend to find myself saying <laughs> I, I would suggest that I've got a guest for this evening but it's not really so much of a guest more like a family bloody member now so uh, we have the wonderful Cybernism with us tonight at this point, you're supposed to say hello. Oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Hi, Jack. <laughs> hello, <to> people. <laughs> I need to hold up cards and shut up so I can speak now. So. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to persist with a semaphore? That's some description. Um, yes, welcome to the Sucker Nautilus. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to tell you not what the Sucker Nautilus is. You can go and Google it. Go on. Go and find out for yourselves. Um, uh, yeah, so we're uh, starting broadcasting. I had hoped to have my studio completed before starting broadcasting, but at least I have the materials arriving on Monday to begin it. So uh, a little bit premature here, but everything was being uh, kind of pushed ahead with the whole autonomous uh, thing uh, just uh, massive respect to uh, all the work of the lads, Tony, Nick, Jimmy, etc., etc., um, and just uh, uh, thanks to the Raconteurs News guys for um, uh, streaming some of the uh, donation money into the creation of the new site. Very admirable. Okay, well, the sort of subject for tonight looks like it's going to be Occupy, or that sort of... Mm, yeah. We have um, a regular, I would suggest, a, mm. a frequent flyer well, of the I, London I, Occupy movement. I've dipped in and out um, <laughs> since 2011. Um, I wasn't there when it all kicked off, but just before, in April of 2011, I went and gifted the whole of the City of London with Organite, and then buggered off to Europe for the summer and avoided all the riots and everything and uh, but then Occupy took hold and I came back and got briefly involved with the bank of ideas and um, right at the end and then moved on to the school of ideas and well your and, experience and of the bank of ideas bit was actually fairly you, you thought that was kind of okay didn't you well it was so brief I was only mm. there a couple of weeks sort of um, I sort of got in there just before Christmas and I think they were booted out in the new year Okay, because um, I remember it being really peculiar that you seemed to be the only person that I knew that appeared to be completely unaffected psychologically by their um, uh, interfacing with the Occupy movement, because everybody else that I knew that was going up there was coming back completely bonkers. Right, right. I think it's because I didn't maybe dip in, I didn't get involved enough, I, I was I was basically there observing, seeing what was going on, I think, mm -hmm. uh, and didn't get that involved so um I wasn't aware of it even being like a bit dodgy I thought it was like the revolution you know this, mm. this is the revolution fantastic mm. um and uh, yeah and after that school of ideas then that got evicted and since then I've had a, a good break but then got back involved uh at a, a place in North London in Dalston which has been hosting all sorts of counterculture events and music Now, I'm right in thinking this isn't mm. anything like the only one of these venues either, is it? We've got that. What's that other weird, weird venue? Where? In, uh, <coughs> in, still in town? In, yeah. Uh, um, oh, for God's sakes. 
Uh, the one that runs all the sort of jazz nights and. Um, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but now if I try and think, you know, yeah, well, anyway, there's, yeah, there's, 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 there's at least another one that mm. has some pretty. Um, uh, oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got a cyberism with us, excellent. Uh, no cyberism, oh, for God's sake, Churchhead with us. <laughs> my fan, my fan has joined I, me. I'm, it's it's Cy with a PS. By the way, I'm not a robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and not a number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, but cy- cybernism as in cy- as in uh, psychonautilus. Yes, indeed. They're very yeah. similar. Uh, yeah. So sorry, completely. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to check mm. that we were actually live. The <laughs> way <laughs> <laughs> things are going tonight could easily have not been. Um, yeah. So. Um, uh, yeah, so the, the the whole Occupy thing. I mean, we we certainly uh, I was um, suspicious enough of it to entirely keep my distance. Yeah. Uh, so I never attended any of the the sort of um, events up there. Uh, like I say, I was getting lots of people that were going there, even against my repeated advice, and in one case against my almost pleading with him to stay away because it was having such a deep psychological effect on the man. Really disturbing, uh, you know what I mean, it, uh, an unusual, um, radical modification of behaviour and attitudes seemed to be what people were coming away from there with and it really didn't look good mm. from where I was sitting. And certainly recently I've just um, stumbled across the uh, movie Hacker Wars, uh, the anonymous movie, and uh, Sabu is featured in there, and Sabu was the hacker, the supposedly anonymous hacker who uh, instigated the Occupy Wall Street movement. And while he was instigating the Occupy Wall Street movement, in fact, it was the first thing that he did after coming back from having been arrested and turned by the FBI. So he is now known absolutely to have been an asset of the state at the time that he was busy fomenting lots of uh, anarchistic and violent tendencies amongst the various people that he was contacting. So it definitely looks like it's a subverted movement. Um, anyway, so it's kind of decanted out into all of these various kind of sort of occupied buildings now, isn't it? It's not really so much mm. occupy the streets. Uh, yeah. as, you know what I mean? Well, see, the one I'm in, apparently, they've got the permission of the building owner um, and sort of have a rolling six month contract to, so depending on how well they're doing it gets extended and what the building owner wants to do to it because on the ground floor you've got a training centre which is um, apparently quite successful and they're just having a load of building renovation work so I think the building owner is using the fact that it's being used for community use to get uh, advanced planning permission and get it pushed through really quickly because um, apparently there's this board of directors in inverted commas, finger, air, air, 